Alrighty folks, way too late for Halloween. I have finally seen Goosebumps 2 Haunted Halloween. And I never saw Goosebumps 1. So, I am not familiar with these characters, but Slappy is back, apparently, and so is, uh, what's his name, Jack Black's character, who plays, you know, the, the author. And we've got another enchanted book that when you open it, it brings the monsters to life, and it's the same formula as every other R.L. Stein book. And they even talk about the fact that it's the formula of every R.L. Stein book. There's a guy that says, you know, I'm a real big R.L. Stein fan, and this is how this is going to end. And he's like, mm, okay. So, if you're an R.L. Stein fan, you already know what's going to happen. If you're not, then you already know what's going to happen because it's a kid's movie, and that's what these kid's movies are. So, yes. Eh... I mean, look, I didn't hate this movie. I was able to sit through it without too much trouble. I looked at my watch a couple of times, but, you know, it was a fun movie with a lot of interesting characters. I really liked the witches and the, the spider spider skull things. So, yes, this is, this is kind of a toy commercial movie, but it's a good toy commercial movie. It shows your children that toys can be magical without being toy stories. So there's... There's plenty of that. I mean, I'm not going to say stay away from this movie. Next Halloween, this is a fine thing to, to have on DVD or Blu-ray. Pop into your VCR to let the kids watch, and then, you know, go do something else. That's what these movies are kind of for. But that's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear yours down in the comments below. And while you're down there, may I inform you that there's a link to a video where I'm trying to save the ocean. So if you could help me save that ocean, it would be much appreciated. I'm Richard.